certainly wasn't the end result that we wanted, but it was a hard-fought game on a very hot day. Hot isn't even the word, right? Temperatures in the stands yesterday were around 100 degrees. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with Jacksonville Fire Rescue about how many people needed medical attention. I mean, some just fainted, as well as a fan who said the concession near him ran out of water. Elizabeth joining us live from Everbank Field with more on yesterday's brutal heat. Elizabeth. Well, Joy, before the game even happened, we got a report from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office today that says that the driver of the bus that was carrying the Green Bay Packers football players here to Everbank Field was actually bitten in the groin area by a JSO canine. Now, I spoke with the son of that bus driver today, he says his dad fortunately had minor injuries and is doing okay. And right now that incident is under investigation by the sheriff's office. As for fans here, the talk of the day though was the heat. One man I did speak with and several others say that they didn't have water at their concession stand saying it made the day a, a little hard to deal with. I bought $200 tickets to watch the game and I enjoyed it. Ross Power says yesterday's Everbank experience was great, except for two things, the loss and the heat. Very hot, very humid. I was wiping my sweat off my forehead every two minutes. I took my shirt off at one point to use it as a sweat rag. Temperatures in the stands rose to more than 90 degrees, while temperatures on the field rose as high as 113 degrees. The Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department says 123 emergency calls were made at yesterday's game. 35 of those calls involved transports to local hospitals, and more than 80% of those calls were heat related. He and several other fans tell Channel 4 many concessions ran out of water and were charging for a cup of ice. You can refill bottles at, at uh, water fountains, which a lot of people did yesterday. The, the issue, some of the issues yesterday with concession stands, they, some were temporarily out of uh, water because, again, trying to restock them and getting through uh, the crowds took a little bit longer because of the congestion. But um, we'll really uh, plan ahead with, with uh, the concession stands and making sure that all those uh, are fully stocked and available. And, but again, fans can uh, at any time go to the guest services booths for free water um, and refill bottles throughout the stadium and at the water fountains. So I have an initial account from the paramedics who were indicating that the vast majority of those individuals who needed treatment and then even needed the transport were from our area. They were not from the visiting north from Wisconsin. So, as I said, that might be a bit of irony there. Tom Francis with JFRD says they prepare for hot and humid conditions at big events like yesterday's game where 65,000 fans packed the stands. We ensured that JTA buses were readily available with air conditioning present. So with the temperatures being what they were going to be, we would be able to respond immediately and provide a cooling environment for anyone affected. JFRD says none of those people who were medically treated were critically ill, so fortunately they will all be okay. Also, when you head to the next game here at Everbank Field in a few, just a couple of weeks, uh, the president of the Duval County Medical Society says make sure you start hydrating days before the game, and he says it's also a smart idea to avoid caffeine and alcohol the day of the game. Reporting live from Everbank Field, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.